So I'm currently in London to visit one of my frequent toy stores, which is Forbidden Planet, the mega store located just across the road from Covent Garden. And it's a short walk to the Cult Entertainment mega store. This is the place for action figures, toys, mangas, comics, and the merchandise. So as usual, on display outside to really promote their store, the just arrived products. So they do have the Flash movie, of course, coming out this month, the McFarlane Toys. And not just DC, we do have the Marvel selection as well. So a mixture of the books on display, some Funko Pops, as well as some Marvel selects. So plenty to see inside, but of course Forbidden Planet is well known for their manga section. So free for two is the deal they've been doing. And you'll find plenty of them in the basement. So let's head inside Forbidden Planet. So on their glass display, you'll have some of the higher end products. So we start off with the Hot Wheels Batmobile. And then we have some DC statues, the higher end versions. And here you'll also find a lot of the other products like Hot Toys, SH Figure Arts, Mayfex and Mezcos. And we have some of the anime figures as well as the game ones. So Final Fantasy as well as Zelda. And then if you're a fan of Star Wars, you'll definitely find something you'll like. There's a huge selection of the Hasbro figures. And this is under the film and TV selection. So they've got the avatar figures from McFarlane Toys. And then on the side, we have some Gundam as well as some anime merchandise. Continuing with the film and TV, of course, NECA figures have always been here at Forbidden. So here's the Robocop, as well as the Last Ronin, two figures really the standout, at least in my opinion. And then they've got plenty to go through, including the horror section, as well as the Predator figures. And then we have more inside the glass cabinets. Normally these are more of the higher end products, at least in terms of the pricing. And some vintage style turtles, these definitely bring back memories of the 90s especially when they had those figures in clamshells. And then we have Power Rangers and then more Turtles figures below. A mixture of the Nickelodeon series and then the larger scales. And continuing with the film and TV, of course, they've got Pop Funkos. A big promotion here for Squid Game at the moment. Figures and figurines. And then we have a Harry Potter section and Lego as well, and this is pretty much the miscellaneous of the film and TV. So Jurassic Park, and then we've got plenty of merch for Godzilla. And now moving on to the anime section, we have Jujutsu Kaisen, of course the latest hype at the moment, so plenty to see here. And then we also have some of the key rings for the animes, and the one that caught my eye is the Death Note one. And then we have the McFarlane Toys Demon Slayer. These look actually pretty good for its price, considering anime is known for the other companies like Figma as well as SHF. I think the McFarlane's have done a decent job here. And then we have Indiana Jones to wrap up the film and TV side. And now moving on to, of course, the DC Comics. Huge selection, of course. And I'm gonna move over to the DC Universe for now. And none other than to promote The Flash, which is going to be prominent in this store. So we have the Batman 89, we have the Flash alternate suit. The DCEU Batman looks pretty good, despite the colours. The Supergirl figure as well, I think looks pretty okay. And then we round off with some more Flash figures. And below we have the Gold Label Batman, which again looks like a quite good figure. And then we have the larger 12 inch statues to wrap up the Flash movie line. And that does include Dark Flash as well, as well as the statues for the 89 Batman. And then some figures that have been around for some time, uh, some for decent prices. We have the Batman, we have the Dark Knight figures. And then below we have the Flash Batmobile, which I did pick up. And then we have the Hush statue. And then below we have some more figures that have been on sale. So Peacemaker as well as the Wonder Woman 
and the Black Adam figures. And then the higher end stuff, we do have the Beast Kingdom Joker and Batman from the 89 Burton series, as well as a box set for Superman. And staying on the DC side, of course, more promotions for The Flash, as McFarlane have released some of the comics with the figurines. So Flashpoint with that Thomas Wayne Batman, and we also have another Batmobile from The Batman. And inside Forbidden Planet, this is one of the sections that I enjoy a lot because plenty of different kind of merchandise here, whether it's travel cards, we have coasters, we have some gift cards as well, postcards as well as key rings. And yeah, this is pretty much the section that I like to go through. And normally I would go for one or two items. Pop Funkos, of course, dominate this store and we do have the latest The Flash Batman looking good in the Amras head sculpt. And now moving on to Marvel, which has always been a popular section. Nothing really new that stands out from this line at the moment, uh, but they do have some of the Across the Spider-Verse figures below. And then we have the miniature figures, some box sets as well. Uh, including that double pack of Spider-Man as well as Spinneret. And then we have some statues for X-Men, the Avengers, and then below we have the Marvel Select. And these items, of course, are some of them being promoted in the glass cabinet. And then we have some artwork and you also find some posters as well. So that's pretty much the first floor for Forbidden Planet. Now let's head down to the basement, which is the manga and comic section. So once you go down the stairs, you'll find a lot of the latest kind of items being promoted here. And they're kind of random at the moment. So you get comics, manga, magazines. And then we have more of the Flashpoint course heavily promoted now so that film is just moments away and then we have the Marvel side remixed in with Batman 89 so really take your time in this section as this is a pretty huge store for comics and manga and there's plenty to go through and it's probably a bit more difficult to really see each section compared to the first floor of the figures since they are books all piled up together and then we have some spider-man as well as superman and then moving on to some art of the film with the batman and then we have shang chi black widow as well as the story of the marvel studios more promotions of the books that were shown at the display and then some more things they want to really sell so it's not just manga and comics you'll find books and novels and then ones including some for the superhero lines including a book for a man of steel and here is the manga section just a quick brief look so the attack on titan and then we have more including the box sets as well. So I've got Death Note. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more later on. Thanks for watching.